Hey guys, hey guys. <clears throat> How do you do this? Uh, hey guys, um so <laughs> I don't know how to go live. I actually had to Google how to go live. What? What? How do you do this? Mm. E. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Okay. So. Yeah. So. Hi guys. Huh? <sighs> Good to be here today. We're doing an interview with Corazon Kwamboka, and. Uh, <laughs> it's my first live, actually my first live, me actually doing anything, because most of the time I just do interviews, so I guess uh, as we wait for Kwamboka to check in, uh, I thought we'd start with some music, I've seen Christian Della do music at the beginning, so I want to try, try that, so huh. here's my, here's a Kenyan song, which um, I pretty much enjoy. Watching me, I feel just like a TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Uh, turn it, turn it, turn it. Eh, we're already at two thousand. That's that's quick. That's quick. Hey, just some creep. They're yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. They're telling me to stop. Hey. Every time we step up on the team, we make it pop. Yeah, Miss you as it. Miss you as it stop. Yeah, Miss you as it. Hey. So let's see if Kwamboka is here already or not yet. Every time we step up on the team, we make it pop. Yeah, Miss you as it. Miss you as it. How do you check requests? Oh. Okay, can see request. Yes. I had a couple issues, so I put it in the music. I had a couple issues, had a homie feeling useless. They said they gon' run me up, I told them niggas to do it. Hey, I roll with the trappers, I roll with the mess. I don't have the bag, I cannot lie, I'm not a trapper. Still be going up, call the game. The Kenyan Nassau. Running up a check, and there's nobody running back. With the trappers, I roll with the masses. I don't have the best. What I'm a shanza could is a house tour. I am no jinga, no jinga son of a house tour. Hey, but to come talk to Johnny B at a mimi. This is like a talk to Johnny B. No, 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 no. Miss you, Rezzy. Miss you, Rezzy, stop. Yeah, Miss you, Rezzy. Miss you, Rezzy, stop. Yeah, show the echo box. You tell me to stop. Lily, at the five thousand does wonders. Hey, 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 you can five cake, I know. That's a fun Shout out to Kahush. I, I love this song. I love this song, man. Sorry, Yaku Fox, they telling me to stop. Every time I step up on the scene, they make it pop. Yeah, Missy Wazzy. Missy Wazzy, stop. Yeah, Missy Wazzy. Missy Wazzy, stop. Yeah. Sorry, Yaku Fox, they telling me to stop. For all the people who don't like me, we never stopping. We never stopping. Missy Wazzy. Wait, Essie Apple, Ananiambia, I mean, my baby. Wait, Essie Apple, you know you expose Juicy Juicy to her. Okay, now who's this rapper? This Nigerian. Enough can I need chongo chongo apa? Where? Sorry, ya. Ah, come come back and make one. Let me make one. Let me see. Request, request. Hold on. 
Nisiwezi stop ya Nisiwezi Every time we step up on the street, we make it pop, yeah. This is where it's This is where it's stuck. This is where Hey! What's up? What's up, Kumbonga? Ah! Nyaji. Wait, house tour. House tour. House tour. What on attack? Hey, that's like a nice house. That's like a nice house. Hi. Hi, Edgar. Nice to see hi, you. Hi, hi. Nice to see you too. Umekwaje? <laughs> Niko sawa. Niko sawa. Hmm? voluntarily by the thank you thank you so much for agreeing to come on the live we've been waiting for this it's time it's time it's time yeah i'm happy to be here so nambe it's it's my metal it's it's okay as long as we can hear you man i don't know <laughs> it's okay i'm out on a sema uh okay you know what let me just put it on eh you may chance to spin wait 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 is is it good is it better mm, looks better mm. Wake up a light. Hmm? Fix your internet. I think watu wananiona sasa hivi sasa. Watu wanakuona? Hata mimi nakuona. Watu wana ya Network is okay. All right. So should we start or, or we start Pambuza, slowly? Pam, wait, hold on. I'm getting like instructions from Panguza cameras Jini. Just one second. Okay, sure. Okay. Nice position. Wewe nani ati please speak English. Where? Where? <laughs> Wait, hey, in the wrong life. You're in the wrong folder. But it please speak. <laughs> uh, wrong face. Mm. Got it to no flex. Ah, what's an emalize wimbo? It's okay, it's okay now. Okay. I think we're good. We're good? Mm. I'm ready. So, can you see the baby? Can, can you see the like the, the bump? We haven't seen the bump live and, and You don't even know. maybe it's fake. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, some people are saying it's fake. I don't understand. Ooh. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. No, I wouldn't play with something like that. That would be yeah, too it's, far. It would would be too far. Would be too far. Yeah, a lot of a lot of women want to have babies and me included so I wouldn't joke like that. Yeah, what what's something you wrote today on your post you are suffering I don't know endrio endrio endometriosis. Endometriosis. <laughs> what's, what's Endometriosis is what's just that? um what's ovarian that? cysts which affects like 1 out of 10 women. Mhm. But they even say that the cases are not could be more, but the cases are not as reported. Some people just are infertile, but they don't know why. But most, mm -hmm. it's the leading cause of infertility in women. So um, I didn't know either till like when I was last year, when I was twenty-eight. When you had this, uh -huh. yeah, that that's when I found out I had it. Even though mm -hmm. I've had it like for over ten years, I just lived with it. Because some people are asking which, which specialist did you go to see. How did you fix it? Like how? What happened? It's a bit like because I I want to talk about it and I want to talk about from how I found out mm -hmm. to the doctors that I saw, the medicine that I took, the procedures. Because I even mm -hmm. had to do surgery, and you know after surgery what I did. But I'm going to talk about it on my on my YouTube channel. Oh, on your new channel, yeah. I saw you have a new YouTube channel. Congrats. Yeah. Welcome back to Yeah, same same so, so it what will it be about more motherhood, more your journey or what what should you expect? I feel like um I will start by talking about my journey. I ask people to tell me what they want to hear and a lot of people want to know because I've gone through like the last two or three years I've gone through like a lot of changes in my life. Mm -hmm. And I would talk about that, some, you know, family issues. Most of these things, they are just on the internet. 
but people don't know the real story. So I'll talk about my journey, mm -hmm. things that I've overcome, depression, the ovarian cysts, mm -hmm. till now, like accepting and, you know, living with so many things that I've gone through that I know affect a lot of people. Because we, we really noticed you really went from being an Instagram or slay queen to now, nowadays we don't hear so much about you. You're more quiet, reserved. So what, what changed? What happened? First, I was, I, I, I kind of like for, for some time, I think for two years, I think between 2017, 2018, I was mostly in Rome, mm -hmm. between Rome and Kenya, Rome and Kenya. And I was in a, a, a relationship and, I just mm -hmm. didn't have time for a lot of things. It really like made me change who I was in many ways. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have time for myself or the things that I used to love to do. Mm -hmm. And now coming out of that relationship to now, it took me like a lot of work and, you know, rediscovering of the, myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. we're here. I'm happy to see the woman you're becoming now. And... Yep something we're wondering is how did you find out you're pregnant and how did the mysterious father take it okay so like i found out i was actually with my mom and i think i was three weeks pregnant my mom kept telling me it was my mom's birthday we were in diani she kept mm -hmm. telling me because i kept saying oh my my <laughs> my breasts are really <laughs> painful and i'm like you know like i was glowing and my mom was like you know you look like you're pregnant Mm -hmm. So when we came back to Nairobi, I bought a test, the strip test, the 50 bob, did the test and found out I was pregnant. But I was like, I see that. Did another test the following day, positive. Then I think I, I, for a week, I didn't tell the father. Mm -hmm. When I told him, it was like, okay, so what are we going to do? Blah, 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 blah. And we just, we agreed. We agreed. When, it wasn't, he, agree? didn't react, he wasn't like, oh. That's not my child. <laughs> we were all mature about it because I just wanted to hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Because bringing a child to the world is, you know, responsibility our to really. So mm -hmm. I wanted to know what he thinks and how he feels before I decide on, you know, what mm -hmm. to do. Then I decided to just keep it because it's a blessing. Yeah, it's a blessing. So yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't, a, wasn't anything planned. It just surprise yeah big man bazoo <laughs> <laughs> so who's the baby daddy who's the baby daddy then? baby daddy is big man bazoo <laughs> who's big man <laughs> we want to see his ass today so yeah you, you probably will get to see him you get to see <laughs> yeah okay because people are people are in the comments saying that he bundles nature to a nation <laughs> <laughs> baby daddy, yeah. oh, that jump to. Hmm? Has he left? Who is the father? People are really, really curious. Okay. Do you guys want to see the father now, or you want to talk about something else before? Because if the father comes, that's it. I'm gone. <laughs> the 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 next questions are are probably based on both of you. So. Hmm. The next question. So, and 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 unless people able, we, we can ask people if anyone wants to see the father, they, you can leave blue blue hearts, blue hearts. Then if blue you see the father, pink hearts. If you still have things to talk to me about, <laughs> oh, how far are you? Hmm. I mean, I'm I'm just I, I'm almost there. I'm in my third trimester, but I just I just got into the third trimester. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, how, that's how many months? Is that three months? How? No. What? The baby. I've never had a baby. I don't guess. Know. Wait, hold on. Let me just move back a bit so they can see the belly and guess. Hey, yeah, that's big. It's big. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's bigger than on the internet. That is. <laughs> that is much bigger. The, the internet was taken a month ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's huge. I blue, That's... Blue, 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 blue. I also see a lot of blue. But someone asked, how 
has been the journey. So I'm just mm. going to talk about that. First trimester was good. I, I didn't, I've had, so far I've had a very smooth pregnancy. I have, I didn't have any morning sickness, praise God. Wow. I haven't had any complications so far. And I just pray for, you know, the next few months to be safe, no stress. I was so scared to share this because I thought people would attack me and come for me and I would get stressed. But I haven't seen yeah. anything bad, like really bad that I can't handle. So I'm, I'm grateful mm. for that. Yeah, I'm glad it hasn't been too bad. Yeah. I've been see. very... Everybody wanna see. I'm seeing so much blue. Blue! <laughs> <laughs> but even be, before we get into any of that, as you guys saw, we advertised and we have some sponsors with us, which I'd like to acknowledge and thank you for supporting, supporting his tennis. So our first client would be... There's a page called Beburu. If, if any of you, after the live, we will post their businesses pages and then you can go check out. Most of them are baby related. So if you're a new mom or a new dad and you're looking to shop for some of these products, you can actually check their pages out. They're quite affordable and I actually approve of these pages. So our first sponsor is Baby Roo. You can check them out on Instagram. It's Baby Roo 254. So did you check out the pages I sent to you? Yeah, I did. I did. I like Baby Roo because they have really cute, little, unique stuff mm -hmm. that I haven't seen on any other page. So this is definitely somewhere I get my 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 baby stuff from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm saying they have little sippy cups. They even have this shower. I don't, is, what is this shower? You put it shower. like on the baby's head so that when the baby, sh like when you like when the baby is taking a bath, the soap doesn't go to the baby's uh, face. Ah, oh, that's what that is for. Yeah. Not like for swimming or... Oh, <laughs> hey, Child experience. protection. Child protection. Ah, nice. Look, looks really cute. This I they even have page, baby proofing. Yeah. Can you even see? Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll post them afterwards, right? We'll post the pages after, yeah. 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 After the line. So nice. there are enough blue hearts. Show us the man. Show us man. Show us babe. Huh? Is, is, is this like a corona baby? Is it? <laughs> Everybody thinks it's corona. No, it's not a corona baby. <laughs> you, 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 corona you, know when, you, you, you know when corona started, a lot mm. of people, like a lot of people were stuck with each other. So I, I even have a friend who was telling me this story of... Uh, she has her friend who went to the boyfriends and the plan was you will either get engaged or you break up. There is no, huh? you get engaged, <laughs> pregnant, or you break up. There is, so it's, it's, it's the <laughs> do or die, the world is yeah. ending. So is this yeah. one of, is, is this that situation? I can, I can definitely say that COVID has really helped me and the baby's father to, to get to know each other more and bond and build yeah. our relationship. So, um, but this is not a corona baby. <laughs> okay, good, good to know. Good to know. Are we talking, um, should I bring the father? Yes, please. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, sure. Hey, we are now at 8,000. 8,000. Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of people. So guys, what questions do you have from the baby's father? I'm seeing gender. I'm seeing, what else are people asking? Uh, huh. Have you guys figured out who the baby dad is? Let's see if I can add. Ooh, let's see, if you go live with so many people why are people requesting this live <laughs> and none of you are the father mm -mm -mm. let's see let's see where's an account can you search yeah. uh -huh. uh, uh, just no nope. So as we wait for the baby daddy to show up, 
Miss Maina, who, who is that again? <laughs> huh? I'm scared how she's so comfortable. Javenchi, why are you so scared? Uh, Simba wants to go live. Karanja. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen, seen the nigga. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. So we are about to go live with the baby daddy. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I, I don't know why he's hiding and it shows his name on the name. On the of course. It's the wrong account. <laughs> it, it, of course it shows his name. Ah. Hi, Father. Oh. You're the Father. Hi, Father. Yes. How you doing? Oh, man? Karibu, Karibu. I'm good. I'm good. You all right? I'm all right. I'm all right. You? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> uh, people have been guessing and guessing correctly for quite some time. Yeah. People, people are good with this. Yeah, yeah. And I just... <laughs> I'd just like to say congratulations. Congratulations on being a dad again. Santa Sana, it's a blessing. But it's always a blessing. Always, huh? More yeah. babies. More babies. As much as people will call you Father Abraham, just more. Yeah. Keep, <laughs> yeah, keep, <laughs> keep feeling the earth. Keep feeling the earth. So, question. Yes. How did you guys meet? How do you meet? You when was that? We met in, last year. We met last year around this time, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 We met um, June, June, July. June, July, June. July, mm -hmm. definitely July. We met in July, and uh, we were going through tough times in our lives, yeah. both of us. So. We were both straight out of a relationship, so it was just like sensitive time. You just don't know what to do. You're, you know, <laughs> lonely and everything. So we had that in common, and then. We just started talking. It wasn't even anything to do with like we wanted the relationships. Relationship. We were just like, because she was in the fit, she was entering the fitness world, and now I was in the fitness world. So she she was doing her genio and all that, um, and then yeah, I sent her over some stuff from Just Gym It so that she can try them out. Mm -hmm. Next thing, we just had so much in common that things just like catapulted into something else, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how come you guys have been keeping it so hush hush for a while? Yeah, I mean, obviously because of the situation, especially my situation. So I didn't. It's you don't want to put someone in, in you know, in that negative space. So we try to be as hush with this whole situation as possible, just to respect the other the other person. And um, yeah, we didn't want to have all that backlash as well on our end. Because we've just we had just found something beautiful. beautiful, like we didn't understand it ourselves, and mm -hmm. we knew definitely people are not going to understand it. So mm -hmm. we're just like, let's just keep it to ourselves. Yeah, and and then, you know, obviously people started seeing us together and yeah. taking <laughs> videos and bringing it Such to you, and we was yeah. like, oh my god, these pictures look crazy. We gotta, you know, I just said since everybody already knows. The secret is out. I posted that picture, then regretted it and deleted because I got a lot of backlash. People saying I spoiled a family, which yeah. was totally not true. Like we were both, when we started talking, not even like having a relationship, we were both single. Yeah. Single at the time. Yeah. Because it's, I, 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 I hope we all understand we can all be honest. In this story, last year I actually the story on Frankie and Maureen, and yeah. I guess like I had stuff, but it, <laughs> but then at at the time Frankie talked to me, and, and I, I I didn't want to bring more friction and stories, and mm -hmm. I always I always figured, and maybe also a lot of people on the on the live have been asking me to ask, was this was Kwamboka the reason for the ending of the previous relationship or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people think that, and mm -hmm. totally false. I mean, we met way after we, we broke up, uh, me and Maureen. 
So that, that had nothing to do with it. It's just that, again, we just found something that we never actually planned to fall into. We just fell into it. And even I told you when you, when you approached me and you were like, yo, um, mind giving a statement on exactly what happened. Of course, we can't just like come out and say exactly what happened, but we had our differences. And it's not something that just happened once. It's something that we try to fix throughout our whole relationship. And it was something that we really worked on it. I've seen a lot of people telling me, uh, I pray for you guys, marriage is everything. Don't leave a situation that, you know, um, has kids in it, but you can't do that. You have to be happy at the end of the day. So we were not necessarily happy at that time. So we figured it's best for us to just go our separate ways. And obviously the general public doesn't see that. The general public sees what happens on YouTube because we had a YouTube channel. And if you yeah. look at our YouTube channel, I mean, it's, it's a perfect couple, you know, it's a perfect family and everything looks rosy, everything looks amazing. But people don't know what's happening behind closed doors. There's that BTS that happens. You're just seeing 30 seconds of my life. You don't see the whole story. Yeah, so, and you can't just say, we're going to start, you know, stick through it because of the kids. Again, you can do that and force something to work, but you're forcing it and it could be more detrimental to the kids as well. So we were just like, let's focus on building these children. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. Obviously, there'll be backlash. And obviously, I would be the, the man is always the one who gets all the backlash. <clears throat> and I think the reason why I got all the backlash was because we never explained what was going on. We never explained and said, this is what happened. Everyone just had their own opinion and opinions were just like being passed around. And the more you pass it around, the more it like becomes something major and major and major. But I just kept my silence because I knew if I start speaking, it's just not going to end up you know, the right way. So I just kept my silence and continued doing me. Um, and I respect you for what you do, especially when it comes to, you know, getting your receipts. It's good when you're in that, you know, the blogger life and you need, <clears throat> you need that proof. You need to know what's true, what's false, rather than just like coming out with whatever, you know, someone has sent to you or told you. And a lot of people were doing that at that time. But anyway, we had to deal with it. Even when I met uh, Corazon, we had to deal with a lot of that. People insinuating a lot of things. And, but we had to deal with it. And we're still dealing with it, even mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's, it's an experience I definitely had to go through. Because mm -hmm. I have... Um, so, like, give me a timeline. When did you guys become a thing? Officially, <laughs> we didn't become a thing until like when? Early this year? Yeah. Mm, December last year. December, yeah. Like, we were just like chilling. Yeah. For the longest time, we were just chilling. And then we decided to just like be, excru be, be you know, to so, get support that. partners. We were support partners. <laughs> Because we were going through we're a lot. supporting each other, man. Yeah, and then we decided, <laughs> through the hardships. we have so much in common. We get along very well. Yeah. So why not? Yeah. Because some, you know, something... Are, uh, some, some, end, something... Let, let, let me interject a bit. Something you guys might, might not know is... Because me, me, I always carry receipts. So last year, when I was actually covering that story someone actually sent me uh what was it a status kwamboka had on her story on your story yeah. you posted you are at the beach and then on the sand you wrote f loves k and then you put a dick emoji in there and then <laughs> i was like <laughs> i was like you serious and this was last year so if you guys say the relationship started this year and I had this receipt since October, September. So no, this the the seriousness started like December. That's when we got like serious. We're like, okay. We're not talking to anyone else. We're not yeah, like, talking now we're to exclusive. anyone else. We're exclusive. Yeah. yeah. But before then we were just we're just fooling around, you yeah. Know, just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks for the honesty. Because when, when I saw this, I was like, like, why did you post this? Come back up. I'm, why? I'm crazy. 
She's she's very 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 spontaneous. Random. She just does things like that. See, see, you know we are watching. Like this is just oh. like, like this That's is what just I like. Tell her. I tell her all the time. <laughs> that time I have never been like, you know. Even that, that photo, that photo where I'm standing behind her and I'm like this. Mm. She was never meant to post that. She just like <laughs> all of a sudden posted it, and I was like, "What the hell did you just do?" <laughs> yeah, that, we noticed the TikToks, and you're like, they're smashing. I remember even doing yeah. that story. You were in slippers, and I was like, "There's no way this is a photo shoot." Ah. They're smashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I- <laughs> <laughs> but we are happy and i feel like it once like a relationship you know the thing is people don't usually want to accept for people to, like when they see people have uh, they see a relationship and they're falling in love with it they don't want to let it go that's but i feel thing. like yeah, I feel yeah like it's, it's very hard people break up they are allowed to move on and be happy and it doesn't mean that i think we are going to be together forever we we'll probably also you know Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Nothing is guaranteed. Yeah. Nothing is, Nothing is My concern right now is just to be happy now. In the moment, yeah. With and whatever's happening. Whatever came out of it is beautiful, and I'm so grateful. So, yeah, I'm I, never having any regrets. I, I remember when I asked Frankie about uh, he's not afraid of the backlash, and something pretty important he said, it's been over a year from his previous relationship so it's like i understood it's about time he can also find happiness outside his yeah. past history and like i'm i'm really hoping that frankie have changed <laughs> i am really cuz i would really like yeah. komboka to be happy and you guys to ha- have it all have the baby have the happy relationship i, I don't want to be send receipts about you guys so yeah, like, yeah i'm actually yeah. rooting for this and I know yeah. a bunch of people are also. Yeah, so, for sure, man. That's good. It's good to have your support on this thing because, I mean, <laughs> we've had all the backlash. We've had a long, long, long couple of uh, months. So yeah. we just want everything to just like resume back to normal. We want to be able to, to go outside and just not worry if someone's going to take a photo of us. So, you know, it was just like a bit too much. I, I couldn't even I couldn't even take her on dates or anything, you know. Like it's just damn. I'm sorry. Bring the food, <laughs> bring the food. Yeah, bring the food home. Because <laughs> you just don't that's, know who's looking. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a hard life. I, at least now you can leave the house publicly and yeah. Now we can step outside and everything. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. Freedom. Yeah, it's good to be out now. So, mm. h- how h- how is it uh, for you guys? Are you happy? How's the relationship? And some so, someone asked me to ask you, Komboka, why Frankie? I honestly didn't choose Frankie. We met on random circumstances, and we became friends. And then things happen. You don't choose who you fall in love with. And and Frankie is a good guy. We get along really well, and I'm fine. I'm 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 happy with my choice. With who I choose, I chose. If and to you, why, why Kwamboka? People have been accusing you. You have a type. You like Me. lawyers and and a certain body size. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said no, a I'm lawyer and voluptuous. I'm gonna say this too. <laughs> Someone said Frankie, Frankie and Nakula judiciary You know the kind of. <laughs> oh my god! Um, again, like she said, but like I did. To be honest, didn't choose her. I didn't like see her, and I was like, "Oh, that's the one I want." It was just something that happened. And to be honest, even when we first met, we were not looking at each other like that because we we were like, "Oh no, no. he's not my type in, ta- in 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 those types of ways where you know he looks like a pretty boy. He looks like he's gonna do this to me." And then I was looking at her and I was like, oh, she, she's a socialite. She's wild. She likes that life. I don't know about that. But then when we were together, it was like, we are just like so down to earth. And our past lives, lives were just like. Almost the same. Yeah. We've just gone through each and everything exactly the same. We're just like, what? This is the opposite 
of what of what, what I, I am and yeah, yeah exactly what she mm -hmm. is so it just it just clicked sometimes you, you don't necessarily plan for it i mean like i like Frankie, because I can fart like a really smelly <laughs> fart in front of him, and he doesn't judge me. It's disgusting, man. Hey, Eddie, I'm a kunja uso. I should have walked away. I should have stood up and. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's what I have to deal with, man. That's what I deal with. <laughs> uh, but sh she's real. She's real. We, we like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That was actually one of the things. Like, she's so real uh, that you don't necessarily, you don't associate that with her and, and, and the lifestyle she portrays on social media. It's totally different. Like, the two are totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So That's why. I'm, That's definitely why. I'm seeing a lot of comments, people saying, marry her. So what are your thoughts on marriage? Uh, on both of you? Hey, my grandma. Hey, that's not even in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for this baby to come out, you know, and uh, yeah. I feel like we haven't known each other for, for long enough to know that we, yeah. we want it to be, you know, like, like that yeah i feel like the main focus right now for us is just to be ha really really genuinely happy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah we just want to be happy it's good so, to take things step at a time because if you start planning and then things don't happen and then you yeah. promised people you start showing people this certain life again and then now everyone else is disappointed we don't want that we just want to live our life and just be normal as much as possible i'd be good with if he makes me happy in like for a long time i'd be good with staying with him like this and not even yeah. making anything official it's not it's not a big deal for me yeah yeah it's, it's not not a big deal of marriage for me. no yeah okay and what, what when so when you say it's too early is it the relationship or age like, no the relationship is too young the so even for, even for me i think even age because there's so much i want to do i still want to achieve before i bring someone to become part of my life, there's still my dreams, there's things that I want to do, I want to do, and I just don't want to get married now. Yeah. No. If you propose, I'll say no. <laughs> That's if I propose. <laughs> so it's like you're both saying no at the time. So I'd, I'd like to take this time to announce our next sponsor. So. Our next sponsor for our live is an iPhone shop that sells um, iPhones. It's called iPhone Street Kenya. So if you guys are looking for credible and legit phones, you can go to iPhone Street Kenya. They sell some pretty affordable phones. We'll, we'll post their ad after the live on all our three accounts. So be sure to follow them and inquire about their rates for those who are, are like me, who like Apple everything. So check out their phones. Uh, iPhone Street Kenya, I need a cover for this and this. I have two phones. I need a cover for both. So Why really, do you yeah, need two phones? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need two phones? Yeah, I have a 10. This is X. That's X and 7. Yeah. yeah. X and 10. Okay, so continuing with the questions. Uh, what do you Oh, this question someone asked me to ask. Red flags. What? Red flags. What? No, not my red. No, not a manika. Red flags. Red flag vibes. What are no chokozi? Kwa marriage, kwa rado na metu chesa. What are no simati kwa marriage, kwa rado na mwa chesa. Na mwa chesa. Kwa nini? No, honestly, like I've been through. Right now, honestly, I just want to be happy. I think that's what everybody should focus on. Focus on. You can get married and not be happy, and now you have to go through all these processes. No. You, 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 you know, when I look at you guys, you, you look very, you look more that more like friends than a couple. That's oh. that's the thing. That's what we're going for. We want to just be able to enjoy ourselves rather than have that you know that 
proper look of this is how things are supposed to be like. This is how, you know, our relationship is supposed to look like. Oh, couples don't do this. Couples don't yeah. do that. No, I want to. We're just wild. and just be yeah. whatever. Go, I want to go out. If I want so, to go out alone and have fun and come back home to him and, you know, vice versa. Like, everybody. I give him all his freedom because I tr trust him. And this <laughs> <laughs> so can 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 you guys like kiss for the thumbnail so that I I, I, I screenshot <laughs> <laughs> I screenshot for the for the thumbnail no for the thumbnail no ah which questions did I leave out um, everybody say, saying we're friends with benefits <laughs> I guess we're friends with benefits exclusive friends with benefits. <laughs> And no, another question. We are not in an open race. Are you in an open race? Mm -hmm. No. Will Smith. <laughs> the open marriage. Uh, not open marriage, no open would, would you guys do an open marriage? No. What do you think no. about it? No, 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 no. Why? I would, never, I would never want someone that I'm with to be with someone else. Even if it's been 20, 30 fucking years. Hey, no. uh, that kills what? everything. Hey, that that's supposed to be yours, right? Yeah, yeah. And then someone else comes and samples it. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's painful. Man. Maybe together. I don't know. I've seen someone asking if we live together. No, we don't live together. Um we just like sometimes spend a week in yeah. my house, a week in her house. Yeah. But we don't live mm -hmm. together. Hmm. The Kwamboka, did you have to actually move because people were knew where you are? Did I have? Did you have to move houses because people knew where you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You? No, 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 no. At the time, we were like not even like in a relationship, but the place where I stayed is a house that I bought. So, mm -hmm. and I had lived there for like two years, but people started taking pictures of us, pictures of my car, like his bike next to my car. And it just started not feeling like a home for me. So I looked mm -hmm. for somewhere else and rented it out. Also. Uh, yeah, but now where I live, it's so private. Everybody's a bit mature. Like they know mm -hmm. nobody's taking pictures here. So I feel free to walk around the way I want. Yeah, because... Yeah. The one thing of being a public figure, you lose out on your privacy completely. Yeah. Completely, something, yeah. Something you'll yeah. just have to give was... up. Uh -huh. hmm? And on to that, when uh, you announced your pregnancy, I think Friday? Yes, yes. Yeah, Friday, yeah. And in the morning, I already saw blogs posting about your pregnancy. So what's... So, did you feel forced to reveal now that people are already talking about it? And how did I that make you feel? I wasn't going to, to reveal my pregnancy because I was already feeling too much pressure. The, the fact that I'm with him and I just wanted to have a smooth delivery and have my blessing. And, but then I saw that I, I don't know how they got the information. I had my baby shower. And maybe one of the people that was there was didn't You've like already it. had your, your baby shower. Yes. <laughs> we missed her. <laughs> we missed maybe her. I'll have <laughs> so one of the people that was there maybe went out mm -hmm. and said something because it was just like, oh, she did a baby shower, she did a baby shower, which was very exclusive and private. So when I saw people talking about it and blogs writing about it, I was like, I'm not going to let people get the story out in a way that in a way that I can't control. So I decided to post it and put my like have a, a, a say in how it comes out. Of your own voice to it. Yeah. Yes. But otherwise I wouldn't have posted. How were you waiting until the delivery or I don't I don't think I would have uh, no, I don't think I would have posted. Maybe I would have waited till like the baby six months or something. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and all this is just because of, like, you don't want the public uh, scrutiny or w why do pregnant women, they deactivate accounts, they post old pictures, they, 
why 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 do women exactly do this i personally didn't just didn't want the negative like negativity to surround surround my pregnancy because it's something that i feel like is a gift you know when when you when you when i was younger i wasn't looking for a child but when i was younger i used to say and sometimes i would pray that by the time i'm 30 i want to have a kid so when it happens in this exact way and after like i had endometriosis i was you know other things were involved that would i would it wouldn't have possibly i wouldn't have possibly gotten pregnant and i get pregnant and the baby is coming before my 30th birthday i felt like it was divine so i just didn't want anything negative to surround the you know the pregnancy the birth and all that so but i just decided to post and luckily i didn't see anything horrible being said so i'm grateful for for everyone for trying to not be too harsh with me yeah yeah cuz i i also feel women who are pregnant they should really get uh the support and the understanding they need uh sometimes like i i've known you're pregnant for quite some time but i, I didn't i didn't talk about it yet until you talked about it cuz in in the line of work I've, i've begun to notice sometimes it can affect a mother negatively so i've been trying to learn from my earlier mistakes and yeah so i'm happy for you thank you thank you for keeping my secret <laughs> yeah, sure sure some people are saying frankie you look un- uncomfortable no i'm not i'm very comfortable <laughs> very comfortable so you did today why i wonder why everybody assumes frankie is such a playboy yeah, like <laughs> how do you have two kids for well, one on the way Oh, two kids is so kidogo. The two kids is not like people have more than that. But Chibude has four. That's four. Yeah. Oh, come in the car. Here's another one. Here's another one now. I think like a uh, Frankie like what do you think your reputation is in this Nairobi streets like as in terms of uh, what do you think your reputation is? Hey my right now I, I I've heard toxic I've heard player father abram I've heard father abram now <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. what else that's it yeah that's it oh so it? no yeah talk yeah talk to us toxic. toxic yeah so why 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 do they think they label you these things well someone said I be I've just seen there someone saying I betrayed Marine but clearly never did that was never my intention and that never happened So I guess that's where the toxic part came from Mhm uh with the the father yeah. Abram thing I guess cuz I have two kids Mhm but I take care of my kids 100% I see my kids Every week I see my children and I take care of them everything that I can do for them I do that for them if it's schooling if it's food if it's whatever it is I take care of them so and I'll so, do exactly the same for this child over here and if so for, you know they can for, for, for one this day new one. let Sorry? us for this for this new one like as a man like it doesn't yeah. it, it doesn't scare you or how will you support this one how will you be there for for them how like of course, do you have like, those questions when when i first when i first got my first uh son i was nervous i was a nervous wreck i was like how am i going to do this blah, blah blah but when that time came i stood up i manned up and i did it same thing happened when i got my second second born i was like how am i going to do this how am i going to take care of this but i think that when you're put in a certain situation mm-hmm. it things just change like you yourself just like yeah you just find a way i don't know how but you just find a way you put yourself between a rock and a hard place you will find a way to break that rock and uh i i see myself doing that right now that's why i don't I'm not even like 
worried about it. When she told me about it, I was like, okay, I can't tell you what to do. Of course, a man can never tell a woman what to do with a child, especially, you know, when the child is in the, in the woman. A man can't come and say, oh, I don't want the baby, take, take away the baby. But it's, it's the woman's decision. And when she told me, I, I really want to keep it because it's something, you know, it's a, it's a miracle to her. It's a blessing to her. She had endometriosis. She never thought she was going to have a kid. Mm -hmm. Who am I to come tell her what to do with the child, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Boom. And I was like, look, I'll be there. 100% of the way. And here we are. Because some, sometimes me, like when I think about having a kid, and, and even sometimes the women I date, like I've dated women where for them, they, they went to group of schools. Me, I went to, to 844 public schools and they're much, much yeah. cheaper. So when a girl yeah. is telling you, hey, me, my fees used to be half a million, me, I look at them and like, so our kid, you want us to be paying <laughs> after me? And I'm like, mm. like it's it. And the funny thing is, when you all graduate, you all end up in the same job. So, like, yes. what's how will you treat your kid? Will you treat them like? Will you take them through the uh, GCC, the fancy fancy stuff, or or or, or, or will you treat them how you grew up? Will you call them like, what's your parenting? Um, where are you with so us? um I know with my firstborn he's like in um he's in Montessori, so I mean that's that's pretty like group of schools <laughs> if you want to call it that way. Um but it just depends on how much we can afford. If we can afford those schools, then why not? I mean, why not take them to those kind of schools? Um she's old fashioned, she's like, nah. <laughs> So, my child is going to a public school, <laughs> public university, public KCSC, the same way I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like some most of most Kenyans went through this system, KCSC, public sure. schools and everything. I just want my my I just want my child to be Kenyan. A Kenyan. Speak Swahili, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Those other ones are still Kenyan, you know, they're they're still Kenyans. Yeah, 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 like, but I just want them to speak Swahili, go to, like, a public government school, public university, go through all the experiences I went through, because I feel, I feel like all the hardships of going to public schools kind of molded me to be who I am. Yeah, yeah true. I'm sure, I'm sure people who went to group of schools also went through hardships, but my choice <laughs> is public. So, so since both of, both of you... So how will both of you agree on this now? If both of you went to different schools, how, how, how will you raise your kid now? Yeah, that, that question will come in like, what, two, three years? Three four, years, four years. Four years. Yeah, we'll right, right, now, uh, right now we're not even thinking that far. And I think the mother decides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mother decides. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. So, Kwamboka, you any, you are now a new mother, any thoughts, how does it feel, how's the journey? My journey has been smooth, and I hope I meet my baby soon, in one piece, healthy. It's been nice, and I'm going to talk about everything, but it's been really smooth. So far, I haven't had any, any complications, any issues, I've, I've never been sick, I never threw up even once. Yeah, you were throwing up. Just once. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> we, 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 we already know the gender. I see someone is asking um, the gender. We already know yeah. the gender, but we're still not ready to, to reveal it. Tony Ambia Kando. Just know, big man Bazu. Big baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, do the people here have questions? The fans. Or is that one of my swag? And as as you guys are looking through the questions, I'll announce our last sponsor, who was gracious enough. I I hope you guys understand why we are making it such a big deal to call out the sponsors. They're actually supporting me and these guys to, I guess, go on this journey, 
it, it, it means a lot when some of these small businesses come forward and support us and believe in what we are doing. And we know we are breaking the internet. So I, I'm really appreciative when people put actual money and support. It's very hard. Sometimes your friends don't. They just say, oh, good work, okay, or they never check. But people who are actually willing to come forward and support you and actually give money, that's a big deal. So I'd like to... Uh, mention our next sponsor which is kid street they also do baby products and after the live we'll post the, all all our sponsors on our stories both my stories frankie's and uh, kwamboka story so kid street is like they have a uh, for sophisticated uh, <laughs> kids products I, I think that's what they wanted me to say so if you check out their page they have uh, baby seats they have uh, bottles they have thermometers they have these baby monitors for this frank you see you had a baby monitor you look like the ones who had baby monitors we actually did have a baby monitor yeah it's very necessary especially if you have like a well you need the one for the cameras if you have a nanny okay mm -hmm. you need to know what's happening and these car seats are really cute mm -hmm. yeah they're really cute have you guys checked out the page Anything you're interested in? I love, I, actually this page, what stood out for me when I checked it out earlier was just the car seats are really pretty. Mm -hmm. They're really, really sophisticated. They look, those astronaut chairs actually. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it looks yeah, like very it. protective. And it's, <clears throat> from what age? Oh, car seats have ages. I mean, I from just back. From birth, yeah, I think it's adjustable. You can change it, like, depending on the kid's age. And this is from birth to seven years. So I, I guess if you buy it once, that's it. You don't have to buy it again. So are, are you guys, like, reading books for parenting or kids? Like, is it, like, how is, how is it this kid thing? I haven't, I'm freestyling and he's, he's telling me he already knows. So he's <laughs> taking me I'm through a book. lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's helping. It must be yeah, it's pretty useful it's, having someone who's done it already. You know, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward for me. So I just tell her tips and tricks here and there, and then we, we do it together. You actually change, do you change diapers, Frank? I have changed many, many, many diapers. <laughs> a, lot of diapers. A, a lot of men say, say, say they would they never change a what? diaper. You only because your mama care or blah, blah, blah. Aye, aye, aye. No, 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 no. Actually, I was the best at changing diapers. I, I'm really good, really quick at changing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I think even statistics say men change diapers faster yeah, than better, women. Better, yeah, faster. Huh. Which, yeah. which statistic is, <laughs> is this? Trust me, I've, I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so questions, what are people asking? What are the questions we answer? Them. We get like five questions and then we leave. Yes. Yeah. Someone is stupid here. Someone is asking, did Corathon pay Frankie for spams? Hey. <laughs> wow. No. Yes, you sure want some? Sure. <laughs> we are selling together. Wow, petty. <laughs> oh, someone asked, has Corathon talked to Maureen woman to woman? Mm -mm. No. No. You've never talked, or what? What are you saying? No, <laughs> we have. We haven't met. We haven't met. Yeah, but what? I hope one day we meet and, and we, you know, able to talk. We're able to talk because our children are going to be brothers. Why? Why? Why is that? Because I want my like. I'll, I'll just have one, so I want my child to grow with with brothers. So it would be no. nice to talk. Of course. I need, like, um, I just need to talk to her so we can get along and our children can just grow up yeah, together. I, I was actually asking why haven't you talked till now? Like, what's, what's oh, been, what's been keeping you? Talking? Yeah, why haven't you guys talked? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, don't know. I guess you, you'd have to say it's just like, it's so fresh. Yeah, it's too yeah. so fresh. I'm sure the time, that the right time will come. It's just too fresh. Yeah. Been Even though it has been over a year, it's still. Six months. Right. It's been like so, 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 like when kids, have you spent time with Frankie's kids? No. 
I want to. They're so cute. <laughs> Those boys are so cute. But no, no, not yet. It really isn't about me. I just hope like our, like my kid gets to know the brothers. Yeah, because that's a bad, because people asking, will you be a blended family? How will this work? That's, that's something that I would definitely, I would definitely, definitely want. I want my children to know each other, to grow up each other, to, together. And even if they go to the same school, that would be awesome. Holidays, we spend holidays together. Every, I just want them to know each other. I want Lexi to be able to say, that's my little bro or little sister. I want them to be able to grow together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did, did you guys ever imagine this would be your lives? Like you'd have stepsisters and stepmothers and step. Did, did you ever imagine this for yourselves? Personally, no. I never. I never saw that happening. Um, you never see. You never see anything happening. You you be with someone and then you're thinking this is it for the rest of your life, and things change. And it's sad when it changes, but. You just have to learn how to, you know, move on with that. And I'm sure she never thought that she would be with someone who already has, like, you know, two kids or even a kid. But and, uh, here we are. Yeah, you don't. Plan. They say life is what happens when you're busy planning. So when you're yeah. busy trying to figure out how your life will be, that's when you know life yeah. happens. Yeah. Takes you where it wants to take take you. I got it. Any other questions for the people? Mm. <laughs> Corazon is in love. Why are they saying Frankie Wandudi? Is it that bike you like? Because I have a bike. Yeah, I have a motorbike. <laughs> Frankie Wandudi. <laughs> hey, what are the <laughs> Oh, someone is asking, how did Maureen take the pregnancy news? Does she know? I think she knows. We don't have to. We don't have to. Don't have to talk about yeah, we can't really tell. That's a sensitive matter. <laughs> I don't think we need to speak on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, was the pregnancy plan? We've asked most of the questions that, Frankie, do you love me? Yes. Okay. Because mm. <laughs> Hey, Most people of are savage. Things that we've already talked about. Maybe the people just joined. What one are some of the next baby mama? Hey, what one are you talking about? Okay. You are talking about Ah, Frankie. What happens? Let's move on. Frankie, now that I have you here, what happened with Shiv? What happened with Shiv? At least you have to answer. Yeah, that, what happened with Shiv? Oh, uh, nothing happened. We just had... Um, he he wanted to do something different and the journey i wanted to go with just gym it was totally different as well um i at that time i wanted to open up a gym and do all that i don't think he wanted to do the same thing um so we just had different um different goals and ambitions when it came to just gym it and we sat down we talked and he was like look i think I'm looking to do CrossFit and all that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's something that you'll be into. He's like, yeah. Uh, and we talked about it. And he, he even said, you know, it's best if we just have this discussion now instead of waiting. And then one of us is pulling away when things are actually, you know, bigger and much more serious, mm -hmm. causing more issues. And we didn't want to lose that friendship. So, because we were friends first before we became business partners. So true. we're like, let's keep that friendship and then we can just like go our separate ways when it comes to uh, the gym, the gym aspect of things, the business aspect of thing, of things. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we we talk. Um, actually, the other day we were talking about since we, we now both have you know kids on the way, we we're having that conversation. And I was telling you, I'm gonna send you some diapers real soon. And we just had that whole conversation, and we were cool. But he's doing his own thing now. I'm doing mm -hmm. my own thing now, and uh, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. Yeah. Oh, People have been me with that. I think it's kiss, kiss. Hey. What about kiss, kiss? Hey. 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 I don't need. To, I see someone saying someone should save me from this relationship. I know what I'm doing. I know 
what I, I'm getting into or what I got into and I'm happy and comfortable with. with I'm not in, uh, what is that movie called? Ilya, mm-hmm. the black guy. Lisa. The black guy who is uh, Jordan Pell. Peel. That movie. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know hey, what I'm doing. I'm I'll sorry. scratch my head for that movie. I'm like, I, know I, know what, I don't need saving. I'm a, I'm a big girl. If, yeah, if, yeah, if shit happens, it will happen. I'll move on. Trust me, I've been through so much in my life that nothing scares me. I'm ready for... Frankie's a good guy. We'll always be friends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good to know. You, you, you <laughs> both seem... <laughs> you like so, your fingers. Let's see what people are asking. I think I do. Oh, people asking, do you love each other? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? What? What is it? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Actually, no, we, don't, we, don't, we have zero chemistry. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, guys, they, they don't love each other. Yeah, do, we do. Okay, Kiss 100 is here. Why? <laughs> Kiss 100 or Mengia? Hey, until someone said kiss. Hey, opportunity. <laughs> hey, so, so, uh, hi, John. Hey, this is jo- John. Ah, uh, hi, John. I've seen you. I put the me, John. John, yes, we were. So, uh, you guys are not kissing then? Okay. No. <laughs> PG, PG. PG. So, no, uh, we're all adults. <laughs> Yeah, we this this could be a whole publicity stunt, you know. <laughs> Trust me, this can't be a publicity stunt. <laughs> And oh. we're now at 11,000. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Nice for three. Hmm? It's amazing. Good, good, good. Anyway, the truth is, Edgar is my baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all just a joke. It's all a ruse. <laughs> <laughs> the real uh, baby daddy is up there. <laughs> huh? Frankie, pe- people are saying, please don't hurt her. Hey, what's up? What's up, Hey, see, you look at the You know, they, they say these gym guys are very dangerous. These gym guys. Very dangerous. It's, it's such an awful reputation, but what? Hey, what are you doing? We do it slowly by slowly. Uh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let's see this. Now people are just emojis, emojis. Uh, mm. Chinese cookie is here. Hey, she's being roasted over here. But okay. Hmm. So anything else you guys want to say? As we I'll close? just say, I'll just say thank you guys. I needed to come here and just clear out some things. And thank you guys for not being too harsh on me. <laughs> Or on us, and it was nice being here. I think. Thank you, guys. I'd say thank you, Edgar, for this. Thank you for you know being understanding, especially from the very, very, very start when we had this whole commotion going on. And uh, yeah, I guess right now it's just like trying to see where this uh, new journey leads us. Um, hopefully, you know. People see us for who we really are. And this is not like a social media thing. It's not like a celebrity thing or whatever. It's it's who we are. This is our real life. People need to understand that, you know, real lives matter in this situation. <laughs> so yeah. uh, just be mindful about things, what you say to someone. Um, even when you see someone outside or whatever, when you're ready to take that photo and send it out, you know, just be mindful who could be yeah who's getting affected with that um but yeah other than that 
I really enjoyed this. I think this was worth it because now every I just feel like the whole burden is off our shoulders and we're just like, okay, now we move on from here. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. It was, it was a good thing. Yeah, and I wish every, every woman out there who's going through infertility issues, good luck. And I hope we all get what we deserve and desire. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I would just like to thank you guys for coming on. I don't think people appreciate, like, these two guys are, they've, they've had it rough. They've had very controversial past, and for them to, especially Frankie, to be so public and big couple goals and him watch that, I think even the first time we talked when I was running a story, and I think I, I really let it go because I saw how human you are. You just came down to a level and you're just ready to explain and yeah. you showed your real self. So I think people need to understand for you to have a relationship so public and have it blow up in your face and then everyone's attacking you. You did this, you did this, you're the bad guy. Maybe some yeah. of it is true, but then you have to make amends in the come few months. And I think both of you deserve to be happy. You've had pretty rough histories on the internet. So, I'm actually rooting for the both of you. You guys can see as a testament how humble they are. They can actually come on our live and actually talk to us and let us know about their relationship and what's going on between them. And have you guys seen any other celebrity do this? So I appreciate the humility and the honesty. Uh, you handled my questions pretty okay. And thank you guys for coming on live. I hope guys you'll be more supportive of them as they're really trying to move forward and they, they have someone else to think about. And I'm pretty sure you'll figure out the rest of your blended family stuff. And I guess we're just here to support you. Uh, keep giving us content, I guess. I, I like your TikToks. Yeah? So, someone was saying, there's this TikTok you did with a condom. Someone says, come yeah. to me. Come to me. for the ground. <laughs> You look at me expire. <laughs> <laughs> You're really mess. You're the... yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So unless you have anything else to say, I think we're we're good. Nah, that's we're good. That's we're good. You know, so people are saying safe delivery, Corazon. Uh, we support just Jimmy and Genius, but yeah, please support their businesses. They both have to take these kids to Montessori. So. <laughs> so support their hustles let them be able to afford their kids the very best and uh i'm trying to say i'd go silly 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 chinese and i say my capek to capek basi at least we know that you're not so that we something to show you <laughs> you know and, until we see this baby looking like frankie we we, we uh, i don't know <laughs> cute couple self-delivery uh, kiss to Tunga story. <laughs> now, kiss her. We'll close our eyes, promise. House tour. We'll see you guys again another time. Love, love, self delivery, self delivery. The thumbnail. I mean, I want my thumbnail. Uh, please. But if Frankie's skincare routine, uh, cinema or something. I'm a connecting in a cinema. Maji, kunyo maji too. That's all I drink, water. Utakunyo mm. maji, you just be going to the toilet. Wapingan and Demi. I don't know what that means. Pigan and Demi. Kiss. 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 We're kissing. Kiss. 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 People, put ah! those <laughs> love emojis. Kiss. 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 Me, I say I want to say this. Because you want me to send people to find you kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're in 2020. This is not our. You know, we, I, like the, the I me the way I grew up. Like mm -hmm. when when I was I don't know six or five or four, I attended my parents' wedding and I I didn't see them kiss at their wedding and I was so like I'm used to seeing the movies everyone kisses and then I was like so why did these people not kiss and then I asked my mother years later why did you guys not kiss. Then she was like, ah, it was a different time. Our parents were there. It's these things we don't show publicly or I don't know. Never that's, really makes sense. Right now, we, we'll, we'll do it one day. <laughs> you might see it one day. <laughs> <laughs> no worry, after this slide ends, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kutatuma picha, kutatuma picha. Eh, ama a TikTok, you can even do a TikTok, I guess. A TikTok. <laughs> but I, I'm hoping it's 2020, people are more in touch with their feelings and they're more, you want to show appreciation and who you love and people you care yeah. about. So, yeah, it's 2020. Hmm? Yeah, I could kiss my family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it was a good life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edgar. Have a good day. Thank evening, you to all the people. Bye. Tonani next time. Tonani, Tonani, Tonani. Bye. Oof. So, guys, the live is over. Any Anything else you need from me or... <laughs> we say good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I've, I've missed you guys. I've actually missed being in front of the camera. And I think... I want to end this live by uh, my opening statement for BNN since I've missed saying it. Whew. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to BNN. <laughs> Good night.